Time to Taste cooking segment brought to you by the Downtown Victoria Business Association. Committed to the core. I could think of nothing better after a long day of skiing than a fabulous roast chicken dinner. If you like the idea but you need some help in the cooking department, you're in luck tonight. Let's head into the kitchen now. It's time to taste. I'm Kathy Maffrey from Travel with Taste Culinary Tours. Today I'm in the kitchen with executive sous chef Ken Nicano from the Fairmont Empress. And Ken's going to show us how to... Stuff a chicken and have a nice Sunday roasted chicken. Fantastic. Uh, first off, I wash and rinse the chicken and pat it dry. Once it's all dry, I season the inside cavity with the salt. Add a little bit of garlic. Don't be shy. Maybe one or two cloves is good. Two sprigs of rosemary. Uh, probably the same amount of fresh thyme. A little bit extra doesn't hurt, does it? No, it doesn't. I think that uh, it really perfumes the bird from the inside and it makes a really wonderful uh, flavor. Juice of half a lemon. And then I just put the whole half in there as well. Trussing the bird, I, uh, it's something I've always done. It tends to uh, keep the bird sort of co compact and together protecting the, the breast meat on the side from getting cooked too soon and also helps the presentation. It makes it look a little tidier. We've got some uh, carrot, celery and onion chopped up here. Probably a couple of carrots, two celery, one medium onion, a little bit of butter and a couple of cloves of garlic and it, once again some fresh thyme and that's sort of going to make a base for our, our chicken. Um, what I do is get a little bit of butter Okay, that's not exactly a little bit. Well, don't. <laughs> and rub the bird with some, uh, rub the bird with the butter. This is what's going to give you that brown, crunchy uh, skin because the, the fat and the butter will conduct the heat. Lots of salt. Yeah, I use uh, kosher salt, a little coarser. A lot of it falls off during cooking, so don't worry if you got a little bit extra on there. And some fresh cracked pepper. And onto the bed of vegetables and into the oven? Onto the bed of vegetables and into the oven. Great. And tell me what's happening at the Empress these days. Uh, well, our newest promotion is uh, Save the Date, Freeze the Rate Tea promotion. And that's uh, available to locals to come in till the end of February and enjoy afternoon tea. Uh, it's a $39 off-season rate right now and that rate will be extended to them and a guest for into the future, good till the end of the year. Great. So the chicken's done. Uh, we've got the... The vegetables are already glazed. They're a honey glazed root vegetables. So there we have some rutabaga, some carrots, some parsnips and some beets and just some steamed potatoes on the side. We're going to finish it off with the juice from the, the, the uh, chicken. We've uh, added some white wine to the roasting pan, scraped up any of the brown bits and poured it into a saucepan. That we've reduced by three quarters with some chicken stock. And then we strained that into another pan and added some cream. So this is where we're at here. To uh, finish this sauce, you just add a little bit of uh, chopped parsley. And then you have a nice accompaniment for the chicken. Yeah, so I think this, uh, the cream in the sauce sort of adds to the potatoes. So it's an all around nice Sunday dinner. That looks great. Ken, thank you so much for showing us how to roast a chicken properly. Oh, you're very welcome.